to be able to get right behind Sauter, but not so hard that Sauter can't get over. Coming to the green and two laps to go. Johnny Sauter on the outside, Kaz Grala inside. Sauter drops down in front of Grala, and here comes Matt Crafton on the outside with help from Ben Rhodes. They got a good push on the outside. Crafton's even with Grala. This is when Grala's really got to watch out. Side drafting from Crafton is something that he's never felt before. Nice job by Sauter. He goes up high to block. He gets in the high groove in front of Crafton. Great move. He had to give up on his teammate right there. Look at Timothy Peters on the inside. Matt Crafton challenging for the lead on the outside. Crafton, the two-time series champion, has never won here at Daytona. He has a teammate behind him. That's Ben Rhodes. Two teammates behind him. He's only Make it three teammates behind him. 16 tries, only one top five finish for our champion, Matt Crafton. Can he hang on? He's got a big lead. Don't get out too far. The final lap, Crafton in the 88 in front. Johnny, Johnny Sauter, Sauter inside his three wide. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. Your middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Rhodes in the crash. Keep digging. Damn. Crafted up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. And Kaz Grala, the youngest driver in the field, the youngest driver to win a pole award in NASCAR's Touring Series history. We'll have to wait and see NASCAR, but he sure looked like he was the one that emerged with a lead. The first across the finish line under the checkers and the yellow flag. Austin Wayne's self trailed Grala across the start finish line. That team's confident about what they've accomplished. We'll get the official moment of caution from NASCAR. Yeah. Amazing job, regardless, for Jerry Baxter, Cass Grala, and that GMS team. Well, and Grala dropped back to the back part of the top five on that restart, but patiently stayed in line, was off the track down in turn three, was able to keep his truck headed straight. Good Great to, to see, see Matt, Matt Crafton yeah. out of the vehicle. Vince, you're right. Great to see him out. It's a heck of a ride for Matt. Up in the air and upside down. And just to reiterate, there's Timothy Peters walking to the ambulance. Mandatory trip to the care center. And it's official. Kaz Grala is the winner. The youngest driver to win at Daytona in NASCAR National Touring Series history. Kaz Grala, 18 years old, wins the season opener. That's awesome. What a great young man. Had great, the great family. Had the pleasure of getting to know Kaz and his father, Darius. And like I said, a lot of fathers and sons go off to the golf course. Those two go off racing. He raced here in Daytona. See Johnny Sauter getting in the ambulance. Good to see Johnny. Uh, there's some hard hits back there on the backstretch, guys. Grala. Looking forward to getting that checkered flag, and he's gonna, <laughs> maybe not the way he envisioned getting his first win with the big crash going on behind him, but he will celebrate it with his team. I like the, Chief Jerry Baxter. I like a little bit of smoked salmon with my olive oil. He's smoking them up there, isn't he? We talked about youth versus experience. Experience always seems to win out here. Not tonight, guys. <laughs> No one younger has ever done what Kaz Grala just accomplished. There's Grant Enfinger climbing in to the ambulance. Just look back and see. No surprise to me that exiting the corners when the trouble happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it looked like Grant Enfinger was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. Grant Enfinger was pushing right there when the track flattens out. Yep. Around goes the 27, catches Crafton, who thought he was home free. Exactly in that spot where you said you didn't want to be pushed, where the track changes a little bit of that elevation. It's nearly impossible to do it cleanly, and this is just way too much right here. 
Enfinger would have been much better off just to just tap his partner, tap his buddy past Crafton, but he got too aggressive. It's the last lap, you understand that. But look at the impact by Timothy Peters. And look at Grala just sneaking through that hole. Right through the middle. And how about Austin Wayne Self right behind him, Chase Briscoe as well, as Crafton goes up and over. Wow. 30 some hundred pounds of race vehicle just floating around like a feather. That tells you how fast these guys are going and how crazy things get at the end. He's still not on the ground. Watch it all from the 24 of Scott Legacy. Yeah, Leave the bump and stack it, stack it, stack it. Keep rolling outside, bottom three, bottom three, close the door on the bottom. Get down, get down. Hey, truck, watch it spin, keep rolling, watch it spin, get through it. How crazy was that wow. view of Crafton over there? We gotta see that again. Now look, he comes out. Works back all the way back, still three with help. Still three with help. Ooh. Hang on to Timothy it never even had time to back off, guys. Now from three Christopher mid, three Bell. Mid, three mid. Three mid. Easy, come middle, 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 middle. Keep coming middle. Keep oh, coming middle. That looks straight out of the movies. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe that truck could fly over like that. Just amazing pictures. Yeah. Awesome camera work, guys. This is beautiful. I mean, it's terrible, yeah. but it's Scott Legacy. Watch Matt Kraft over there. Completely up in the air. Unbelievable. So thankful that everybody's okay. We saw Kraft in that truck, the yellow 88, walk away from this mess. Look at it land on the 21 of Johnny Sauter. Scott Legacy. There's Myatt Snyder, the 51. You see Legacy, he's one of the first trucks to clear, so he's gonna get a, a decent finish out of this. Be 